Hello everyone. The new version of Hydraulic Cat version 9 uh, finally released. If it's your first time you hear about Hydraulic Cat, it's the software running in AutoCAD for modeling and simulation of water networks, including pipes, uh, tanks, pumps, uh, junctions, and reservoirs. Uh, and calculating pressure and flow in each element if you have if you have worked with hydraulic cat before you may know that hydraulic cat works in autocad and all its verticals like uh, map 3d uh, plane autocad civil 3d and other verticals we always try to make hydraulic cat to work on many versions of autocad both on 32-bit operating systems and 64-bit versions. The release 9.1 of Hydraulicat works on uh, AutoCAD 2010 to 2015, 2016, and hopefully 2017. And, and also all AutoCAD verticals, both on 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems, like Windows XP, Vista, uh, Windows 7 uh, and 8. Actually, it's a big task to make this software to be working on in so many environments and platforms. The functionality of uh, former versions of Hydraulicat were focused on making water modeling and hydraulicat, hydraulic analysis easier and more user friendly. In version 9, we add water quality analysis. Uh, to the list of hydraulic cat functionalities. Uh, in this version, properties uh, related to each element are added to the properties palette. For example, if I select a tank, uh, in properties palette of AutoCAD, I can see the settings for quality and the results of quality. Uh, even uh, for pipes, the settings and uh, output and for the junction everything is here uh, in the properties palette of AutoCAD and the user interface of hydraulic CAD in this version is a little bit updated so I explain about the user interface briefly uh, functions uh, like quick select uh, like match properties, uh, going through different time steps, uh, all of this, uh, all of such functions can be found in ribbon or in the menu. Uh, they, they are collected in ribbon and menu. Uh, settings that we set one time and use it later, like patterns, uh, like uh, palm curves. Uh, everything like this uh, are collected in uh, options uh, actually we added a new tab to the uh, options of AutoCAD uh, under the name of HydraulicCAD so every settings that can be used later like units uh, and other settings are set here are collected here in the options dialog um, so we set them in options and then use it later. Things that uh, we may change to conduct the, the modeling and analysis better are in a dedicated uh, palette named hydraulic palette. Things like display style, display styles, which uh, Show the, uh, show the uh, hydraulic objects in uh, different colors, various colors and sizes uh, based on certain rules. So, uh, so if we want to uh, show them based on elevation, we can s select this display, set this display style before and select it from this combo box or switch between different display styles to see them differently.
this way we can find uh, problems in the network better and we can demonstrate uh, the functionality of the model better this way or uh, things like uh, what if scenarios after we have the model uh, working then we may try to uh, some what if scenarios turning uh, some pumps on and off or uh, some valves close or open and then see what happens in the network things like this can be set uh, under uh, this the scenario what if scenario section or uh, we added in this new version we added a new tab to this uh, palette named quality uh, reaction tab from here we can select uh, we can set a different uh, quality scenarios there are other things in this uh, palette that when we are working with the model we can uh, switch them on or off or change the settings uh, for different what if scenarios and uh, conducting the uh, analysis better uh, other parts is in design center if we have uh, defined an, uh, another setting uh, in another drawing, we can just go there and simply drag and uh, drop the settings to the new drawing. And then when we have it, we can uh, select it here. For example, I dragged and dropped the quality, uh, two qualities from another drawing. Uh, and now I have it in the menu and I can switch between different quality scenarios here the same applies to all the pump sizes uh, all the uh, pump curves everything that we can be dragged and dropped from uh, one drawing to another one from uh, design center there, there are things in uh, status bar two uh, type of things first things that show the status of the application uh, that one it sh shows that the uh, analysis hydraulic analysis is uh, unknown status if I run the analysis it shows the hydraulic calculations are updated so uh, this icon shows uh, that hydraulic calculations are updated the other one shows that if we have a quality analysis in effect, uh, if I change the quality and uh, quality scenario to none, I uh, see that uh, it shows the quality is not selected. The, there is another icon for scenario, what if scenario. If I unselect the scenario, it shows there is no uh, scenario in effect. Uh, the other things in the status bar uh, is the things that we can uh, simply toggle uh, toggle them on or off like hydraulic snap which is uh, a function similar to AutoCAD's uh, object snap but this one only allows us to snap to hydraulic objects when we want to draw a model we need uh, just to snap to hydraulic objects not uh, any object in AutoCAD so it's a hydraulic ob uh, snap or running uh, dynamic or static calculations over the uh, dynamic calculation is uh, simulation over the certain time uh, the place of such settings is naturally in status bar there is one point I want to mention if you have a drawing drawn in older versions of Hydralicat and you want to work with, with it in the new version you need to update the drawing uh, to be compatible with the new version the process can be easily done when uh, you open the or drawing uh, and then just type hydraulicat and 
uh, it automatically this command automatically checks for everything needs to be updated at the end if there is anything you want me to elaborate on please leave a comment in YouTube or in our blog I would request you to subscribe to our channel encouraging comments or likes would be definitely appreciated thank you for joining me for this brief introduction of the release 9 of hydraulic acid